Hello, Lovelace. Welcome to today's English lesson, which today, as you can see, very similar objective to yesterday. Can I plan my own overcome the monster story using a box up? Okay. But before we get on to our story, which I know you're working incredibly hard on and hopefully really enjoying because we've, we've created some wonderful characters here. But before we do that, I want to look at a little bit of grammar. And today we're going to look at adverbials. Now, adverbials are those little phrases within our writing that answer some of the questions that our reader might be having. How is that happening? What order is it happening? How often? When? Where? So on. OK, so adverbials are a word or a phrase that modifies the meaning of a sentence, clause or word. OK, let's look at some examples. Hopefully that'll help help you understand a little bit better. So adverbials of time answer the question when to when something is happening and adverbials of place answer the where question. Every Saturday, I see a troop of hilarious ducks swimming in the stream that runs through our town. Now we've got three parts of that phrase or three parts of that sentence that have been placed in bold, just to highlight them, because they're the adverbials. Every Saturday, this phrase tells us when this happens. It happens every Saturday. I see a troop of hilarious ducks swimming in the stream. That answers the where question that runs through our town. And that continues to answer the where. OK, so every Saturday tells us when in the stream that runs through our town. That gives us the where. Extra information that helps the reader understand the situation better. Last night, I packed my teddy in my bag to go on holiday. We're traveling to the Philippines. Okay, again, three things in bold here. Last night, that tells you the when. In my bag is a where, and Philippines is a where. Okay, there's two levels of where here where the teddy bear's going in the bag, and then where you're going on your holiday, the Philippines. Okay, so last night, when, and then two references to the where. What about this one? On the playground, the minion was playing with the hoop all day. And again, with the bold text, we can see on the playground, which one's that? On the playground is the where. So the order we put these in doesn't matter as long as the information is there for the reader. So on the playground it tells us where and when was he doing it? All day. Okay. Final one on here. Before the end of the day, Sean will find a way to extract himself from the pot he is stuck in on the patio. Again. Hopefully you can see the highlighted phrases before the end of the day. That tells you when this is going to happen. And on the patio tells you where. OK, hopefully that's all clear so we can answer the when question and the where question using adverbials. But we can also answer the how and the frequency. So how often things happen. So an adverbial of manner answers the question in what manner so how it's done how he did that how they did that okay so the how and then the frequency that means the how often so adverbials of frequency answer the question how often here we go with fear in his eyes kermit clung to the high tree and continually called for help in the philippines okay so here with fear in his eyes that's telling you how he's clinging on. And you can actually see it in the picture as well. He looks terrified. So with fear in his eyes, so there's the how. And then clung to the, to, try again, clung to the high tree and continually called for help. So that's how often. He's doing it all the time, continually. Okay, desperate to be rescued. And what about this one? 
Although he was driving over the sand cautiously, every now and then the car wheels got stuck. Okay. Now, the how and the frequency are actually uh, connected here, but they are two separate phrases giving us two separate adverbials. So although he was driving over the sand cautiously, that's how he's driving. He's driving cautiously. Every now and every now and then the car wheels got stuck. So every now and then is the frequency. How often are the wheels getting stuck? Well, they're getting stuck every now and then. Okay. And then we've got the order. This is where we use our ordinal language. Words like firstly or first, initially, to start with. Secondly, next, then. Finally, to say to bring things up at, at the end uh, to a conclusion. Okay, so any of your ordinal words that indicate to the reader the sequence, the order that these things are happening. So we've got a, a few sentences here. I'd like you to underline the adverbials here. And I've just reminded you of five types around the screen. So we've got frequency, that's how often does something happen? When does it happen? the order it happens, where it happens, and how does it happen. Firstly, we went into the museum for a workshop about the ancient Egyptians. The dog sat waiting by the door for its owner to come out of the shop. Miss Williams says that I must finish my poem before the end of the day. Without warning, a spider ran across the classroom floor, which made us all scream. Cacti hardly ever need water. Okay, so a selection of sentences there. Where are the adverbials? Well, let's have a look. Firstly, well, that word, that adverbial indicates the order. So it's telling you what happened first. In this case, firstly, we went to the museum. Where? Well, the dog was waiting by the door. So we now know where the dog was waiting. Okay. Before the end of the day, so that's telling me when. So Miss Williams said, I've, I've got to get my uh, poem finished before the end of the day. So there's your when adverbial. Without warning, the spider ran across the classroom floor. So how did it do it? Well, it did it without warning. And how often will the cacti hardly ever need water? So how often do they need water? Hardly ever. Okay, so those little phrases help answer those important questions for the reader. So they get to, they understand the situation far better. So have a look in your story, in your plan. Have you got adverbials in there to help the reader understand? When is your story taking place? How often do certain things happen? The, say the flames of the dragon beat down the warrior again and again. That would indicate the frequency. Where is your story taking place? Is it in a deep, dark, scary forest? Or is it on a beach? That's entirely up to you. Okay. So think about your ordinal phrases. Think about giving that information to your reader. So your main task for today is to finish your story. I'm going to give you all the time you need to continue and complete your story. So using your box up to write the frustration, the nightmare and the escape for your story. Remember all the tricks we talked about yesterday about how to improve your writing. Think about adverbials from today's lesson. Remember, you can always go back to yesterday's if you need a reminder of the writer's toolbox. Just show me what you can do. I want to see the best of Lovelace. I want to see your best handwriting. I want to see your best ideas, your best vocabulary choices. Come on, guys, show off. I've seen some wonderful work so far, and I've seen a little bit of quite lazy work as well. So here's your chance. Show me what you can do. Entertain me. I've got, I'm going to be reading these for a number of days. 
I want to enjoy my reading. Okay, so thank you in advance for entertaining me with all your stories. That's the end of today's session. Take care of yourself and take care of those around you. And I will see you very soon.